Sunday is July 1st, and that means several new laws will go into effect, including one that could require a bit of a paint job. News Channel 15's Tony Sandlaven joins us now with the broad strokes of the purple paint law. Tony. Well, Tara, Governor Eric Holcomb ceremoniously signed House Bill 1233 into law last week in Warsaw. It takes effect on Sunday, meaning this could become a thing of the past, and this could be what replaces it. Uh, yeah, I can, I can remember back when I lived at home, uh, you know, some hunting season, go out and put up all of our no trespassing signs, and you wouldn't make it through the first weekend where uh, anything that was easily reachable was, had already been torn off of trees. No trespassing signs are frequently damaged or torn down, leaving private property unmarked. Sunday, Indiana will join in the solution by replacing those signs with purple paint. It's a simple way of people out in the country to show that certain properties off limits. Uh, instead of having no trespassing signs all over the place that get shot up, get taken down, whatever, uh, purple paint's a whole lot cheaper. Uh, you can either paint your fence posts or paint your trees, but it just simply uh, says no trespassing and it, it helps uh, get trespassers because a lot of people go up, oh, I didn't see the sign, whatever. Uh, they'll see this and it'll last for years. Because these no trespassing signs continue to get damaged or even removed, a simple line of purple paint, just like this one, could make all the difference. I think it's, it's primarily it's just a permanency factor and with, you know, the recognition across multiple states. July 1st is when Indiana will join about a dozen other states with this new purple paint law, possibly moving the state from no trespassing to purple paint. Representative Wilkins says the lines can be on either posts or trees, but must be at least three to five feet high and be in obvious plane of sight. Live in Studio 15, Tony Sandlaven, News Channel 15.